All right, here's a bit of an unboxing of the My Actuator. Um, I'm trying to remember the one that I actually purchased. The it's uh, the RMD um, X6 with the Can V3 um, motor controller. The full uh, the full description actually is this. So we have RMD X6 P36 and uh, N14. I assume the P36 is the gear ratio and the N14. I'm actually not sure what that is off the top of my head. But yeah, Can V3. Got 22 of these. Um, yeah. I like how it comes with uh, these whole variety of cables here. Or a whole bunch of like connection options. They give a lot of they give a lot of stuff here. So one thing you'll see here is we have a couple of we have um, XD6, or sorry, XD30 connectors. Take a little closer look. I think those are XT 30s. Um, we have a whole bunch of terminal blocks, uh, both sides of this, that you can then, you know, use with barrels in order to mount things. That's fantastic. Um, with one hand, so I can get in there and grab some other things in here. So, oh, okay, so it comes with, like, the whole assortment. Each one of these is an assortment of um, uh, um, the wires that you can solder down onto the pads of these guys. We'll see those in a sec, as well as the terminal blocks, both sides, and then a power connector. As well as also a resistor here that can be used for... Um, Terminating your CAN bus, so that's cool. All right, anything else is useful in here? Uh, we got serial uh, programming um, boards, that's great. Uh, just plug these into USB and then plug the other side into these here motors and uh, you'll be able to program them and uh, control them over USB serial. That's nice. I feel, I feel like there should be maybe more. I mean, I guess they gave us enough for programming a set of these. Um, we did buy 22 of these, so. Gave us a big, ooh, I love how this feels. So uh, I can tell these are the silicone, um, these are silicone. Nice and flexible cables, love that, or uh, 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 wires already tinned for what we need. That is beautiful. This will, I think this is probably the necessary number. And the rest here are probably all the rest of the resistors and things like that, so that's good. That's awesome. I don't think I see anything else in this bag uh, besides, um, Wires, terminal blocks, XC60 connect connectors, and these um, heat shrinks. Let's move those out of the side. Let's actually just open up one of these boxes here. Let's take this. Ooh, all right. Let's take this. Pull this one out like that. Try that out. Ooh, whoa, that looks tiny. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Oh my goodness, it's already pre-soldered. It's globbed down, interesting. I thought they were gonna oh, keep that available so that we could just do that ourselves and do it our own way. Oh, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, no, we can work with this. We can totally work with this, not gonna be an issue. Probably cut these actually trim these shorter because we have a, uh, for our design, we actually have this little backpack board that we're gonna put, whoa. Oh, look at this boy, wow, oh man. Look at that. <laughs> so much longer, I assume that's from uh, the additional um, gearbox, planetary gearboxes on this. I don't believe this is the strain gauge one. This is probably another uh, stack of planetary gearboxes from here to here. Uh, but yeah, no, here we have this side. Let's see if that can focus. Focus, darn you. There we go. So you can see this uh, here. We have the power lines, the can lines, and the additional can lines that probably extend out to the next device. And then over here we have uh, the USB programming port. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, no. And then you can see like the one to sixty-three gear ratio label here. Um, this is just to show the unboxing of this stuff. Um, it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks great. I don't see any issues. Um, thought we would have been able to do this ourselves, but sure, this should work for what we need. Uh, we have a, we're putting a backpack on this thing that can uh, connect using our connectors. We use USB C in this case in a non standard way, uh, just as a connector to uh, connect between different motors. Um, so, yeah, having access to this would have been nice, but you know, I, this will still work. If we just kind of flip it around and connect it up. Yeah, it's a beautiful motor. I'm going to open up another one of these boxes, make sure that everything looks and is in there as, as expected. So, let's move this stuff out of the way. Uh, let's do one more. All right. All right. I don't know what this means. I can't read this. 
I bet it's a card saying thank you. Actually, no, it has a it has like a survey on it, I think. Huh. All right, so let's uh, get this guy here. Yep, same situation, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Probably should not have dropped it like that. Uh, but yeah, no. um, same old, same old. Yeah, you can tell humans doing this. I mean, obviously. But um, yeah, all right, that's pretty much it. Let me just have 22 of these. Uh, we'll probably do some testing with them, making sure that all of them work as intended. Uh, there may be a follow-up video to go over, you know, showing these guys moving, and then also to probably explain if there were any failures during this whole thing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, took about, about I think, uh, we used FedEx, uh, and that got here about, I think about two weeks after the initial send-off, so not too long. Um, I didn't, yeah, no, it was, was the shipping was great. Packaging, I think, was fine, even though it may look a little how you doing. Um, everything about this was pretty good. I just took a bit of time to get everything figured out when it comes to the uh, uh, work with the factory. Yeah, that's pretty much it.